a rare error from Overman. He's normally a very high percentage player, night in and night out. Their only four-year starter for the Buckeyes. And they've only attempted to go to him six times tonight. He's three of six, one error, hitting 333. Good serve. Kobe Take kind of coming in, and Kane Take rather. And the big roof as J.P. Marks meets his match in Chen Levitan. Oh, Levitan, what a block, one-on-one. -on -one. Again, great save by Kane Take that time. And Marks, that set a little low, a little tight. Didn't have a whole lot of range and a lot of choices there where he could hit the ball. Rotation violation on Hawaii. And so a point for Ohio State. It's now 12 serving 14. Time JP Marks out of rotation. He was uh, overlapping with one of the front row players. Sarkovic unable to dig it up back there is Henchy. Hawaii gets the point. 15 to 12, and Charlie Wade's going to come over and have a brief little discussion with the down official. We'll take a break. 15 12, Hawaii leads. Well, back here to look at the new athletics director. And, well, we should probably mention that where did he come from? But none other than the, the Ohio, Ohio State, State University. University. And now Ben Jay, the athletics director at the University of Hawaii. Uh, Maybe a little mixed in terms of his emotions, but one would like to think he'd be rooting for his home team. Now. I think his contract has started, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it has. You better be bleeding green. Darn right. That ball hit out. Momentum starting to shift now after the Ohio State Buckeyes caught some uh, caught some breaks, I thought, and some calls, and now it's. Uh, Starting to go Hawaii's way. Couple of calls, the rotation violation. They actually got three freebies, and that's a big diff. 16-12. Nick West to serve, and that's just in. They serve. Oh, Michael Henchy was already turning around to high five his teammates. Now the calls again. The close ones are starting to come Hawaii's way. I think all those calls, referee calls, it all evens out in the end, you know, pretty much over a period of time. Ooh, that might have been out. That may have been out, but you're absolutely right. Human error is part of the game, and at yep. the end, you know what? Teams get some, teams lose some. It's part of the game. There's a big mammoth swing. John Fullen puts it down there vertically and brings his team back within four, 17-13. And what he wants to get to 20 and then take it home. Quick set, and Holt, Davis Holt, getting into the action there. Once again, Hawaii going back to that middle attack has brought them so much success in the first set win. Look at the line for Holt now, hitting 800, four of five. Good serve, ace serve by Max Wexa. And Hawaii jumps out to its biggest lead of the set, 19 to 13. And once again, Pete Hansen calls timeout. Hawaii doing a pretty good job from behind the service line. They're not making too many errors. And they're starting to serve in between players right there, forcing the other teams to have to make choices, communicate better with each other. You know, those are the best servers are the guys who can serve in the seams. Hawaii so far tonight, six service aces, seven service errors. Number six and eight for Ohio State. And there you see the hitting percentage. Pretty even, I'd say. Tonight, but in this particular set, I think that uh, Hawaii is considerably better than Ohio State, in the hitting part by about 200 points. Buckeyes have outblocked Hawaii five to four. Ohio State hitting 062, Hawaii hitting 333 in this particular set. And Hawaii serving better, Hawaii passing a little better. They've gotten their middles back involved again. Davis Holtz getting some swings. Nick West getting some swings. This is an important match for Hawaii. You have Penn State, you have UCLA. You know that those are both going to be very difficult matches. 
but just having started your season, we talked about that degree of difficulty, starting off on the road at BYU in the altitude in front of a raucous arena, and to be able to come home and notch that first victory would be a huge accomplishment for these Warriors. I'll tell you this, I guarantee you these guys are feeling much more comfortable, much more relaxed in the home confines of the San Sheriff Center and their fellow students and friends and family. Yeah, absolutely. So Max Wexen coming off that ace serve, trying to get Hawaii over the hump to 20. 19-13, Hawaii leads it. Block at the net. And look at the play of Davis Holt. Davis Holt turns around and points to Malia Labar, former All-American middle blocker, and points her and says, hey, Malia, you told me how to do that, and it worked. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel really good inside for a player who's play paid his dues and gets his opportunity. Davis Holt's been one of those guys. That one kind of trickles off the tape. The hit by Marks and out point for OSU. It's been a great rags to riches story. You're right, Howard, for Davis Holt. It's wonderful to see him being so happy out there and, and really realizing his full potential. He's filled out a lot since high school as well. You can tell he's got some more muscle on him. Marks just kind of knocks it over and an opportunity for the visiting team. Dug up by Jay Solson. JP going to set it up. Back to Olsen in the middle. And dug up by Levitan. And Levitan will be forced to two-hand it over. Set to the middle. And this time, Holt, unable to put it down, hits it wide and point for the Buckeyes. Believe it or not, that's the first error by a Hawaii middle tonight. That's, that's a pretty interesting statistic, isn't it? What does that tell you about how often Hawaii should go to the middle? <laughs> yeah, more. more. And service ace at Hawaii comfortable at 2015, but now it's 20 to 16. And don't get too comfortable. That's what Charlie Wade is saying. And so he calls timeout. I think what they're trying to do there is uh, this ace occurs. Jay Solson, I think, says, take it, Matt, take it, Matt, with the last second. So again, some communication issues there. Notice where that serve went, in the seat between two players. And that's what the great servers do. They find those weak spots. I think Hawaii might change their serving pattern here, Howard, right now. Rather than go with a traditional three-man pass, they might go with four people passing to close up some of those seams and give be, be less vulnerable. See Nick West there on the end of the bench. You can tell him to cut those sideburns back, and you can tell him to, you know, trim it up a little bit. But you can't take the wild out of the child. <laughs> He's a fun guy. He's just, he, you know, got, between games two and three, he was also out here <laughs> throwing T-shirts into the crowd. Really. And he would actually point to the person he was going to reach when he threw it. I think he got him, too. Yeah. Well, he's got personality, no doubt about it. And it's not that Charlie Wade doesn't want them to show personality. He wants them to win. And the more you win, the more you can show personality. Speaking of personality, the rubber band man in the house, entertaining the crowd as he does. Oh, there so he is, often. Alan Hackbar, <laughs> former Kamehameha football player, former UH football player, was responsible for putting a lot of people in this arena when it first opened. Oh, man, man. <laughs> ah, look at him. He's a piece of work. He is. And his firemen buddies are probably watching him somewhere. Some fire stations rolling over in laughter right now, wherever he's working these days. And then there's his girlfriend who rolls her eyes and says, don't encourage him. <laughs> that one's blocked down. Sarkovic gets credit for the kill in Hawaii now at 21, up by five. Big point there out of the timeout. And Siki. Back to serve, Siki Sarkovic, the freshman out of Belgrade, Serbia. Back set in, and credit Andrew Lutz with another kill. He's into double figures now, that's number 10 for him. He's bringing that big jump into play there, just goes over the block. Defenders line themselves up around the block, assuming that the block is gonna take care of a certain area. 
Lutz finds a way to hit over the block where there are no defenders. Derek Cuse serves over pass, dug up by Sarkovic. Nice play, gives J.P. Marks an opportunity. And Marks puts it down for the kill. What a dig by Siki Sarkovic. Wow. He took some major heat there from Lutz, and he just popped it right up, knocked him over, but he took one for the team. So the defense <laughs> leads to the offense, and that leads to the kill. And Hawaii now 22-17. And with every point, a level of comfort. It's a little bit better. Back to serve it is Brooke Sador. We've seen him come in in this situation a couple times tonight. Beautiful serve. This time dug up nicely by Henshi. And then Lutz off the block gets the kill. That's 11 for him. That was a great serve from Brooke Sador. Once again, he has long time between serves, but he had a great routine, took a nice deep breath, had a good toss. Great swing. I think he should he deserve to have a, a point score there after that. I thought it was a great, great play. So back to serve for the Buckeyes, Mike Stefani. He's now he's their version of Brooks Sador. He is their serving specialist. He too has a long time in between plays. 18 serving, 22. Gets it in. And Marks, and again, into the block of Michael Henshi and the 6'7'' senior out of San Clemente. I'm not sure this is the best place to sit right to their biggest, the second biggest front row blocker. Let's see if they try to go over their smallest blocker, Peter Heinen at 6'4", their setter. And that ball is out. And that was a big point for Hawaii. It could have been a two-point game. Instead, it's a four-point game. So a big swing on the service air. And Hawaii now just two points away from taking a two sets to one advantage. Marks back to serve for Hawaii. As the stand sheriff crowd grows quiet. Good serve, overpass. And Jace Olsen, a little bit demonstrative in his celebration. He's got he, he can feel it. He wants, yeah. he wants this game three. He knows it's going to be a 50-50 ball. Give credit to J.P. Marks for the great serve. Olsen developed into a leader here. Just three matches into his Hawaii career. And that one is served wide and out to service here by Marks. But Hawaii sitting there on set point. Hansen contemplating what to do if his team goes down two sets to one. They need to string together four straight to get back into this one. Well, trying to end it right here and now. Saving it is Henshi and then knocking it over in Hawaii. The opportunity. They're going to set it over the middle. And Nick West, feed the middles, Chris. Feed the middles. You've been calling it all night long. And so Hawaii takes set number three, 25 to 20. And time to six sides. Time to win a match. Nice of him to come on over, and that was my first opportunity to meet him. Mine too. <laughs> but you know what? That's the way you roll. That's the way we do it. It's like, hey, come on over, talk story. How about him? out what color he was going to wear tonight. That was great. I like that comment. See, somebody must have texted him from home to say, hey, they're talking about you on the broadcast. And a good swing by the former Penn State University player, Jace Olsen. And Jace is having himself a pretty good night tonight. Now eight kills in 18 attempts. He has one error. And Hawaii jumps out to the one to nothing advantage. JP Marks back to serve it. Flying out of the back row and getting an assist by the net is Mike Henshi. Now it's hard to account for that when you're trying to set up to dig a ball. 